Good day. I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're walking from Grimwade on the Bilbleman track down to Banningup, which is one of the track towns. And it's a beautiful morning. Have a look at this. And on my journey this morning, I already had my acquaintance with the emu. They're nice and friendly around here. Well, not in the sense they come up to you, but they'll watch you and then do a little scarf if you get too close. Beautiful creatures. Okay, I'm going to carry on walking. I'll see you further down the trail. Okay, two hours in today. The worst part was the first one and a half kilometers coming out of Grimwade. Them two hills aren't long, but they're steep. And first thing in the morning, it takes it out of you. But since that point, it's been fairly, uh, let's say levelish, because you have got your inclines and declines, but they're very shallow, they are. One or two, you'll feel your breathing just up a little bit but the rest is just like walking normal as if you're I don't know heading around the shops or something the flies as you can probably hear are just beginning to wake up and get a bit friendly so the bug nets going on shortly too warmed up so the base layer is coming off off camera don't worry and as it warms up all the wildflowers are beginning to open up and it's starting to get beautiful out here so I'll get it all changed and I'll carry on and I'll see you shortly.
four hours in. The last two hours there's been a bit of up and down. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Uh, the last hour there's been a few steep bits, inclines and declines and nothing really much to worry about because they're not long ones they're fairly short, they're just going up and then coming back down the side then back up again and down the side the one thing is a pain is it's quite overgrown at the moment so you're going through for 5 or 10 minutes you're stopping and checking yourself in case any lodgers or hitchhikers have decided to join you and next thing you know you're back in it again for another 10, 15, 20 minutes but that's alright I got to a point where I've got some views now. Do you want to look? It looks like it's starting to open up to the farmland. Different view. Okay. I'll take my water. So don't forget, drink plenty of water. Watch out here. Even if you're only doing a day. Water, remember that, keep rehydrated. Ooh. And what I've started to do is put some uh, electrolytes in them to keep my electrolytes up when I'm walking. And I've noticed a big difference in reduced muscle ache. So, electrolytes, I'm using the sugar free ones, they taste pretty good at the moment. These ones are. I've tried the mango, this one's an orange. Uh, I've tried the lemon one, which I think was the Gatorade sugar free one. That was nice. It was really nice, there's more, she just wanted to keep drinking that one. <sighs> but anyway, I'll carry on and I'll see you in another hour or two. We made it to Balling Up by 12 o'clock. So that's seven hours walking today. Uh, the hardest part of today was first getting them two smaller hills and inclines coming out of shelter. But then that last one, about five kilometers, four and a half out of Balling Up, they see on the map. It's exaggerated on the map, but when you're walking down it, it doesn't feel like it's exaggerated. <coughs> and that takes you all the way down to the Banning Up uh, Creek, I think it is. Today's walk, all in all, was a really nice walk. Uh, because I was trying to get back to the bus on time, I, uh, I didn't stop as much to filming. Plus the forecast is severe thunderstorm coming in and it hasn't made it yet but the clouds over that way no black heavy ones are on the way so I'm sat in here with this perfect backdrop of the Bibbulmun track waiting for the bus to pick me up in Ballingup Walk, using walking sticks on this section I, I reckon the walking poles I'd say would be a definite you need to use the two, especially coming down some of those uh, declines. I used both of mine, put the camera away, and it made it a lot easier to get down without actually slipping or putting strain on my knees. So, walking poles, I'd, I'd put, say, put close to the top of your list, just below water for this section. And always remember to drink your water. The town. Well, I'm not going to say much about the town, but I like the looks of it. But I'm going to come back down one day and spend a day or two here and have a proper walk around and see what there is. I've already been in the store down the bottom where they sell the, uh, the liquor and the cool drinks and they've got a minimal uh, amount of supplies there. But you can have your, uh, your drop-off sent there for you to be uh, your restock. Or resupply, I'll get there in the end. You can have your resupply sent there. So, like I said, I'll come back and we'll go through all that. So, if you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. 
click on the notification bell and select all so you can be notified of all future videos click the thumbs up button which is the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care